Hey everyone! So, today we will be exploring the Outer Rim. No, not Star Wars. I mean, I hear the word Outer Rim used a lot in Star Wars, but that's not what I'm referring to. What I am referring to is the outer areas of the Great Sea, because in terms of actually doing things involving well, with the story, you don't really do much at all in the uh, outer sections of the Great Sea. I mean, the only places you really need to go to that are out there are... Uh... Here, I'll show you on the map real quick. Like, most places that you go to are kind of in this little bit of area here, but most of the uh, areas out here you don't actually go to for, like, anything. The only ones you do go to are Outset, Forsaken Fortress, here, Headstone, Gale Island, maybe one for the uh, one of the Triforce shards. But other than that, most of the uh, outer rim is basically ignored. I wanted to actually get my uh, thing out because uh, there's a bunch of guys here, and that means joy pendants. I am seriously trying to... There we go. Jeez. Can't quick spin to save my life. I shouldn't really have to, though, because, uh, well, we got... We got the Master Sword. I don't have to worry about doing all that. I just figured, why not? There are, uh, sharks that come around here, uh, pretty often. But there's also a treasure to be found here, too. And I'm gonna get that in a sec after I get the, uh... After I get me Scottish on. Or my Irish. Whichever one works. Oi, smarty fry. Yari yari heard. I take it you want to chart an information about this island. Then start by opening up your sea chart, yeah. I don't know where I'm going with that. I think I'm starting to put Swedish in here, too. Don't know. Not these three is the forest haven. They see a truly unique kind of fireflies indigenous to that place. You heard of it, Smartfly? It emit bursts of light in seven colors. Supposedly it's as beautiful as the rainbow, yeah? If you want to capture one though, you'd best have a bottle to keep it in. And that's all the info I got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fly. I can't go fighting even on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. Yeah, he's hinting about the uh, forest firefly that if you uh, didn't get it yet, you can. But since the firefly is no longer required to get the pick the box deluxe, well, I really don't have to. Now, which one is this? This one is treasure chart number 15 for the Angular Isles. Stupid sharks around here. I still never looked up their name. I haven't really had time or the motivation to. Nice! They actually use that! Alright, uh, what do I got for items on real quick? Boomerang. If I remember right, Boomerang actually helps deal with these guys. Oh, get out of here! I forget if they keep coming back or not. Alright, the Angular Isles. There is a uh, tree right there that you are supposed to use with the hook shot in order to get on there. But... Depending on uh, how you want to tackle it, uh, you can actually just glide over there with uh, Deku Leaf. And that's probably what I will be doing. I mean, once I at least get up uh, here, once I get up here and uh, push all of these blocks around, I don't know why I'm trying to speak with a bad Italian accent. 
I wonder if I'm finally starting to go crazy. But then again, aren't we all a little crazy on the inside? Whoa! Quick reactions. I love them. There is more we can do here. Once we uh, get this treasure chest. Which has another piece of heart! Yes! Love it. Alright, get that Deku leaf out. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to warp. I'm trying to head... Looks like I head eastward. Alright. There. Give me a little leeway. Down the hole! Oh, wait, can I actually do... Never mind, I can't do this one yet. Uh, here's the thing. I thought I could do this one, but unfortunately, I lack an item. Shoot! Why did I do that? It shows how little I remember of these things going on in the Outer Rim. Now, I remember there's also another thing we could do at the boating course. And yes, I kind of know the whole thing with the boating course now. It's, uh, that... There is some stuff to do here, but the boating course itself is just for money. Aye! But I do believe there is something out there. Yeah, there's those. And I don't remember if I had the... No, if I had the treasure, I'd, uh... If I had the treasure, I'd be done with here already. Now, do I have the treasure for the next one? Um... If I don't, I'll just cut. Aha! I thought so. So, I just had to come through here real quick. I'm gonna go get that in a sec. That mailbox down there. I completely forgot about this. There was a treasure chart here. Good thing I came back. There's nothing on the inside for me, however. For Whoa! And there's you. I forgot about you. But then again, uh, when I came here to the Cliff Plateau Isles, I was kind of in a hurry. Oh. I didn't, I didn't even know the Korok was right there. Alright, let's go check the mail. Here's your letter. Oh, there you go, it's a letter from Errol. This is basically the last time we see her until the end of the game. There you go, Mr. Gonzo's a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. Kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Not just a little strange, but nice too. And as for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean when he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko is kind of weird, and Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad when <laughs> whenever I try to take his glasses. Oh, Errol. As usual, Nico is always fooling around. He won't take anything seriously. Seems sad not to have you around anymore. Anyway, uh, despite that she's basically a guest on their, uh, on the ship. She is also helping out, because, you know, everyone's got to do their part when on a ship. But she gets you a red rupee. It's not much, but it's still something nice. Alright. Where is our next stop? Our next stop is due north. Right over there. But coming over here, we have to come here because this is where one of the Triforce charts is. This is for Triforce chart number two, actually. Uh, do I have, uh, I don't. I also gotta get a Yui pair out. Right, well, right when I needed to. Unfortunately, I can't change things during uh, cutscenes. Which I don't like.
But here we go. We go to Bird's Peak Rock. I'm gonna probably have to come here again when uh, I get its uh, chart. Tell me, small fry, have you heard of the Golden Triumph folks? They're there on that island. Or at least, a chart leading to them is there. Where it's hidden, you ask. Well, for the answer to that, you'll have to ask a gull. And that's all the info I got to offer. Yeah, I uh, don't see... Never mind, I see the light ring. So I'm going to take care of that first. Yeah, a little closer. Let's start looking for it on the map. Open up treasure chart 25, which I believe is what I got from the angular isles. Alright, so it's treasure chart number 36. That leads to this one. What do we get? Silver Rupee! You know, I might... I might actually have enough, uh... To get something from... The Rock Spire Isle, uh, shop ship. Alright, now... One of the first things I want to do is I want to start taking care of some of the Karg Rocks here, because, uh... There's a lot of them. I mean... Not called Bird Peaks Rock for nothing. Thankfully, since I have arrows, uh, I can shoot at them. I could try and get them closer to uh, yeah. this thing is so sensitive, and I hate that stupid dead zone it has. Yeah, I'm doing this because you know if I have too many of these car rocks on a seagull when I'm trying to. You know, do what I need to. Come on! Oh, right, I forgot I can move with the. Ah! It just shows how much I remember these things. Now, I don't have to come up here, I can just do what I need to. There we go. I don't have to come up here, but I believe there's a. This guy. Get a little extra magic while I'm at it, too. Now, I can actually aim at some of these with the bow, and I can hit them. But most of them, I'm gonna have to get with a seagull. There are a couple Kargroks I will not be able to snipe with the bow, however... That one up... I hit the R button for a sec. That one up there flying around, I can hit, but that is, that's like saying I have to hit a, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, what would be the word for it? But that one I shouldn't have to worry about. These other ones, however, I do have to worry about with the seagull. All I gotta do is just basically clip it with one of the seagull's wings. Uh oh. One's after me. It's a good thing I at least have one more uh, Hyoi pair after this. Alright, I've got the other uh, car rock after me. Hey! Alright. Don't make too tight of a turn, otherwise that car rock's gonna get me! Oh, come on! Fine, I'll get this one. At least get that one. Where is it? Here. Alright, third time the charm. Go, Seagull, go! I can actually lure them close enough to where I can take care of them myself. And I kind of want to do that because I'd like to get the uh, golden feathers. Right, it's ZR to uh, cancel out. 
See, here comes one. Get out of here. And goodbye. That was the one that was hovering around uh, up there. Unfortunately, the other one decided to leave. Oh, hey, a fairy. Okay. With this, we finally get the last chart. The rest of them are all the actual shards themselves. It felt really, really weird when uh, I did this game the first time. And by this time, I mean uh, the Wind Waker HD, not the original Wind Waker. It felt so weird having to go do all the stuff and not get all eight charts. At this point now, I'm kind of glad for that, because uh, one of the Triforce charts, I believe it was number six, took me to Southern Triangle Isle, and I always hate going there. I just noticed I also have 999 rubies exactly. Hey! Alright, that's dealt with. Next up, I believe we had one more north. As soon as I find my boat. Hello. Yep, one more north and that will take me to where I want to head next. In fact, uh... While I'm at it, I am going to grab out my skull hammer, because uh, in order to get the next two upgrades, you need the skull hammer. It's dumb, but unfortunately, that's how it works. Thankfully, there's no. S I was about to say, thankfully, there's no sea hats. And then, lo and behold, there they are. There's a couple of lookout platforms there, too. Actually, where's the fish, real quick? I want to go get the fish. I'll get the fish, and then I'll, uh... There he is. That's the last one of that portion of bait. Good thing I bought as many as I did, because now I can finally get the rest of the, uh, stuff. Yes, yes, open up the sea chart. I'm going to skip the next one coming up because I don't know if I have its uh, treasure chart. Uh, I might actually just head up there real quick and see if I do. Tell me, smell if I... Do you have any of them golden feathers? I hear those things are all the rage with Rito ladies on Dragonus Island these days. They just go gaga over them. But the thing is, the only way to get to golden feathers is to defeat one of those bird monsters. That's what they say. Yep, Rito men who have girlfriends should have tough lots in life, I tell you. And that's all he for I got that offer. This is this is why I always like to press B to get out of my boat when I don't need to. Okay, let's head up here. Uh, I should put my uh, because there should be another one of those uh, blue shoes here. Target sighted. Alright. Slam these down. And we get to move on. I would like to try and get this out of the way. Because, as you know, I like to use arrows a lot. And these are the only two upgrades left that I need to get. I've already got the wallet upgrades, I got the bomb upgrades, got the double magic meter. That's five of the great fairies. And this will make six. More arrows. Sixty wherever you go.
That's all she wrote for this place. Until I have to come back for the treasure chart, because let's face it, I'm probably going to have to. Alright, so... Uh, get some bait outs. And I'm going to head northward real quick. I think I also remember why I don't like coming to this area, is because not only are those sea hats there, but... Uh, up ahead, there's even more. Yeah, I didn't have the chart for that place yet, but that's okay. I know I did want to explore the outer rim and all that, but... Oh, this is new. It's actually foggy. I don't know if I've ever encountered this before, aside from when the ghost ship came around. Hmm. Anywho, I wanted to come in here. This place. Ugh. Step on the switch. Lights the place up. Now I gotta deal with whiz robes. Oh, and since I have fire arrows, I can one-shot these guys. That's always welcome. I could also, you know, use uh, ice arrows to freeze him. Let me target the stupid bird wizard! Oh, what? I don't know why I'm picking these up when I don't need to. There you are. Yeah, you can't uh, deal with some of these enemies because you need the bow for it. And I, have, I have actually tried. You can't do anything unless you have the bow. Or some means of, uh, ranged combat. I don't think bombs work, either. Alright, that should be all of them. I say as I roll into the wall. Like a dumbass. Alright. What do you hide? You hide the platform chart. Now you can find the platforms out on the high seas. Open the chart on the map screen to view it. Here, I'll uh, show it real quick along with many, any others I might have. Platform chart, right here. So there's no platforms here. There was one that was uh, in the area below us. There's three in probably the next area I'm going to. One over at Star Island, and yeah, there's... There's a bunch of them all over the place. Most of the platforms, however, just have, like, uh, spoils or rupees. But some of them do actually have uh, collectibles that I could uh, use. Alright, so I'll see you at the next destination, which is actually northeast of here. I do believe there's something we can do there, regardless of if I have the light ring or not. The treasure chart. There we go. Here we are. We are here. I don't see a light ring, so I don't think I... I don't think I have this one, but at the same time I might, and I'm just not close enough. I do not know. Actually... I should probably deal with the cannons while I'm... Or never mind, I guess there's no cannons. I'm usually used to seeing cannons. But, oh well. Oh, the weather's getting bad again. Hm. Okay, it's either here or there's another one with three platforms. No, it's this one. Yeah, I know it's this one, because, uh, you have a whole bunch of whiz ropes who show up, and, uh, after you kill them off, more treasures appear. These two, I don't think, are the ones I need. Hello! Oh! 
I see you over there. That's the one we want. Because that one has, uh, metal bracings on it. I might as well get these other ones here, too. Wait. Okay, I could have swore I heard, uh, another... Oh, that might have been because the other... Those three fireballs didn't actually land... yet. I have gotta be careful of that. There we go. Maybe if I get a little closer, I'll, uh, see what I need to see. There we go! We got a treasure chart! I might as well check this one real quick, because I do have a bunch of uh, charts that I haven't opened yet. I've got 16... Or, never mind, that was the one that uh, I just got. Shows what I know. Shows how little attention I pay to my uh, charts. I seriously thought I had a thing here. Oh, well, I might as well at least get this, just so I have this mapped out. Yes, yes. Charge and information about the island. I might make one or two more stops. Oh, wait, now I look at the... Oh, shoot! I think, uh... Uh, no, no, not here. Actually, there is a thing I can do here real quick. Um, he's talking about the big octos. Uh, I mentioned about the seagulls. And, uh, there is actually one here. Not there, but, uh, you'll see them. Somewhere. At least I think there's one here. If not, that's okay. I don't have to worry about it right now. I mean, it would have been nice. Because then once I've dealt with them, then I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I might make this my last stop. I mean, as much as I'd like to continue, uh, I am getting on in time again. Oh yeah, there's a sub here. I guess I'll deal with the sub real quick. I'll deal with the sub, I'll get the thing. Uh, there's actually a bunch of stuff we can do here at this particular island, so yeah, this might be my last stop for this video, and probably do some more afterwards. Wait, which one's this? Oh, I know this one. This is where the... This is the one with the gauntlet. And it's got the mini ones everywhere, so, you know, I want to do this. I want to do this. Bada, bada, bada. Come on. Come on, bada. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's the mini blend swarm. I really? Yes! I really should not be doing things the way I am, because, uh, this is basically... I don't know. I did not think I'd have this much trouble with mini blins. Then again, we're dealing with a swarm, which, you know, if you're not careful, they can whittle your health down pretty fast. Okay, and then he just decided to leave the map. I can still hear him. Oh, he's here.
Wow, I took a lot of damage there. I should probably stop at a fairy island and heal up. But, we're dealing with this sub, a treasure chart. And there's still more of them. Look at them all! Good thing while I'm climbing up the ladder, they can't really do anything to me. Yeah, I'm already getting pretty on in time. I should, uh, hurry up, get the other things that are here. I don't believe I... Oh, I do have this place's, uh, treasure chart. I'll have to look for it real quick. After I get to my Scottish one. Uh, you know what? I was thinking next video I was gonna raid all the reefs around here because each of them has a treasure chart. But all the treasure charts they have lead to special charts. Ah, when the full moon's around here, this is when the ghost ship shows up. It shows up every night in a different location depending on the phase of the moon. Once we get the ghost ship charts, which we won't be getting for quite a while, then we can uh, actually enter the, the damn thing. Oh, seriously? Okay, do I... Stupid. Yeah, if I don't deal with the sharks, they're gonna overwhelm me, and I don't need that. Right. Okay, that should be all of them. Since the light ring disappeared, I should be pretty close. Treasure chart 11. That's what this one is. Probably just open up my other charts uh, after I end the recording, and uh, who knows? Maybe a place I previously went to in the outer rim will have it. Nice, super nice. I needed that. There's just one last thing to do here. There should be a treasure chart that I can get. There's also two blue chews, if I remember. I think this is the only island that has two of them. Yep, and they were guarding the chest. Alright. Let's get this, and I think that'll be it for this video. Not as much as I was hoping to have done in a video, but you know what? I'll take it. What do you have to say? I don't know what he's looking at, but... Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Instead, I'm going to worry about how I'm going to tackle the rest of the collection for next video. Because there's... Quite a bit I still want to do. So, until then, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.